What's up, explorers? Thanks for tuning in today. I'm gonna to prove to you that chocolate waterfalls really do exist outside of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and they're actually taller than Niagara Falls. Stay tuned in, because I'm gonna tell you where to find them right now. I recently spent a couple days in Arizona and stumbled upon a beautiful waterfall that is actually 18 feet taller than Niagara Falls at 185 feet. It's called Grand Falls and it's located on the Little Colorado River, roughly 70 miles east of both the east entrance to the Grand Canyon and the city of Flagstaff, Arizona. Getting there is pretty simple by way of Interstate 40 East and Loop Road toward the small city of Loop, Arizona. And yes, it's pronounced loop, not leup. You're welcome, I saved you from embarrassment. Anyway, make sure your vehicle is up for the challenge because the final eight and a half stretch of road leading to the falls, called Indian Route 70, is unpaved and very rough. On the way out, I saw many minivans and sedans with flat tires. I'll put specific directions to the falls in the description down below, but make sure you don't rely on Google Maps. If you put Grand Falls, Arizona into Google Maps, you will wind up going through the city of Loop and to the other side of the river where you're overlooking the falls and not looking directly at them. And unless you're experienced in the Oregon Trail and fording rivers, you won't be able to make it across the river to the other side. And no, your Honda Civic can't ford the Little Colorado River. Nice try, don't do it. Anyway, once you arrive, you only have to take a short 120 yard walk to an overlook to get your first beautiful view of the falls. If you're feeling extra adventurous, you can take a further 700 yard hike down a steep trail that leads you to the base of the falls. Before you go, you should be aware that Grand Falls is located on the Navajo Nation. So just be extra courteous and respectful of the land. According to the Loop chapter of the Navajo Nation, a visitor permit is not required to visit the falls, and the best time to go is between March and April and monsoon season in the summer. If you go any other time, you may be disappointed to find just a dry canyon. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Before you go, please leave a comment down below letting me know some of your favorite scenic waterfalls. Thanks for watching, and remember to never stop exploring. Oh.